and then creating like a face print or a fingerprint with that. And that approach generally is agnostic to skin tone, race, things of that nature. Um, the new way of doing it, the much faster, much more powerful way, is using artificial intelligence, which is what we call deep learning. And what that is is like a pixel by pixel, almost like a pore by pore analysis of every single image. And we're comparing everything in that image, including skin tones, shadings, lights, darks, and it's those systems that have a trouble with different races. Now, let's talk about average everyday Americans. Do most of us engage with face recognition technology in our daily lives um, today? The most common place you'd find facial recognition is the iPhone 10. I think there's millions and millions of those out there now. You may have seen someone using facial recognition to log into their phone. But also large companies like USAA, AARP, and others are also using facial recognition. And what are they using it for? Interestingly enough, USAA released some information showing that uh, a lot of seniors were using their facial recognition to log onto their accounts. That way they could just not have to remember their passwords. It would be much more easier for them to use. So let's talk about the connection between this and law enforcement, which is the issue that we're exploring this week on the show. You know, recently watched a crime show, and it was one of those shows where they show you the different steps that the, the police go through to find uh, criminals. And they were able to, based off of a social media posting, uh, they were able to take that person's uh, Facebook photo or Snapchat photo and run it through a database of photographs, um, of licenses, for example, and match that to the Facebook photo and then ultimately find uh, a criminal history for this person and get that person off the street. Seems like a pretty good use of the technology, is it not? I think in the very specific scenario you gave, that's exciting. <laughs> the, the challenge is it's never quite that easy, quite that clean. So one of our major issues at Kairos is government's use of facial recognition. They have all of our photos. They have all of our driver's license photos, all of our passport photos, mug shots, you name it. And so they can take a picture off something like social media or even a camera on the street and use that to find someone, and we think that that is not the expectation people have when they go to get a driver's license. So if you are a state, let's say the state of Washington, you can simply take your driver's license database that you already have, put a camera on Fifth Avenue downtown Seattle, uh, and then figure out who everybody is.